Hello everybody, I'm back with the Alphabet E Spaghetti Challenge, um, I had to cut things short um, and then it didn't save properly and we played the England game again and we lost 6-1, uh, just to prove that I'm not saying things and whatever else, we lost 6-1 and uh, it game again, um, so I decided again that I'm going to mix up the tactics, I'll show you the tactics in a second, um, and we are going to be playing Northern Ireland today in this game. So we should see what we should do and see if we can play well against him. I just thought I'd change it to this, basically. Uh, can he play Shadow Strike or what is he better at? Uh, just have him as a normal attacking midfielder on attack then. Um, yeah, uh, as you can see, I've changed to the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. Um, and then I've put... Uh, obviously, that's going to get changed to positive. I put the vertical Tiki Taka on. I thought, try something different, see if we can do something different. Uh, the team seems to be playing, we don't play great with wingers really, uh, I don't know if I played the system before in previous videos, I'm not too sure, um, yeah, but this is going to be the team for the game, I've got Kovacic in net, uh, Kolasnic, Katic, Hodzi and Dedic along the back line, uh, Prasicic in at defensive midfield, Gojak and Longhar in centre mids, Pajas the cam and then Kodjo and Demirovic up front, and then we're just going to get into things, so... Here we go. Well, let's be having them. Um, I changed this system because we do have a lot of wingers, but then last game when I wanted to put a right winger on, we didn't have a right winger. And I've realised we've got a lot of defensive midfielders, a lot of centre midfielders, a lot of attacking midfielders, and some of the wingers can co and jointly play striker. So I thought, well, why not change up to what it is and then go to a 4 1 2 1 2. Change some of the positions around. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to um, point the finger and say I'm expecting to see a better performance from you tonight. I'm going to say I have faith in their ability. I am going to go to the tactics again, because I'm going to see with the forwards what they play best as. Because uh, I have changed a few things, but he plays best as a deep line forward, so I'm going to put him for that on attack. And Demirovic plays best as... An advance forward, so I'm going to mix it round and put Demirovic as the advance forward, Kodro as the deep line forward, so we can kind of drop in as an attacking midfielder. Goes that on to Mezala on support, so we can kind of come forward as well. And then I put Long Longcar and Prasicic, but I put Prasicic on defend to kind of support these two here. And obviously, I put the wingers on the wing backs on attack to shoot down the lines basically. Uh, but they are going to. They are going to um, do that, but I'm not going to underlap. I'm going to overlap on the left and the right um, instead of underlap because there's no one down there. Um, and I want them to be going outside, not inside, to put in crosses under the box. That's what I want to be doing. Uh, and then I'm going to go for that and then do it that way. See how we go and work the ball into the box. Try and play more possession pace system and see how we do. Um, so yeah, let's be having you into the game then. I think it sorted itself out with putting this back on the screen because I think I took it off by accident when I was in a previous uh, when I was messing around with stuff and the settings ages ago uh, when I was trying to get the videos to a better standard quality. Um, but I don't know if that's the case. England have gone one nil up against Belarus, um, but I have no idea really. So it happens. Okay, Donnelly's on the ball, Nixon, Galbraith, Matt Calmont, uh, Lewis, Dallas. What I didn't do was show you the Northern Ireland team, so what I am going to do is, because I've done that in the two previous episodes, I've showed you the full run-through of the Scotland team, the full run-through of the England team. What I will do at the end of the episode then is show you a full run-through of the Northern Ireland team and who people are playing for and all of that fun, funky jazz, etc., and see if they've got any regen players, because I like doing that type of stuff, because obviously I'm from England myself, um, and I like just showing the home nations and showing them how they're developing over the years into the future, because obviously England's team now is a lot of the younger players who will be playing in the Euros in the upcoming tournament. Uh, we have been the better team in this game. I am going to demand more, because we've literally not done anything at the moment. The best two players on the pitch is the centre-backs, which is a good thing, since though we're doing stuff better defensively. Um, but we've got three strikers up front, up front effectively, and we're not scoring. Um, Brasicic is cleared. Hadj cleared it out of play there. 
Um, it's been a pretty even game, to be perfectly honest. Glasnich is on the ball, Podro, we've lost the ball, Smythe is on the ball for them, and we're going to go 1 0 down. Fantastic. Fantastic. So let's go attack him. And if we can. Try and do something different in the second half. It just, it does. I'm uh, just trying to. I'm not angry, just disappointed with you. What a bloody team talk, Alice. This will be frustrating because we'll be the only team that has lost to this team in this group if this happens. And it'll all be because I decided to mix up tactics. But then after getting beat by England 6-1 with the defensive tactic on, I thought I'll come here, play something narrower and see what we can do. Um, if we don't do anything, play something different, see if we can play a different style of football and do it that way. Kolasnic is on this wing here. Gozak's played it on the inside. Long car back to Kolasnic and he's coming inside and bloody scored, hasn't he, the left back? Ex-Arsenal man, I think he's currently playing for Aston Villa. In real life, he's ancient now on this game. I think he's about 35 years old, but he's still playing football for Villa in a championship. And he's gone and bloody scored, hasn't he? Go ahead, Kolasnic, lad. That's what we like to see. We're on the ball. Katic with the throwing. Kodro's on the wing there. Prisic. Kolasnic again. Woo! Nearly, lad. Go on, my son. Going to encourage the lads. Yeah, the... Strikers aren't having a great game, to be perfectly honest. Ignore that. I don't care about that, about yellow cards and stuff. Come on. We can do this. Get a win against Northern Ireland. We have been the better team here. We've got a better XG as well. Uh, I've gone attacking. Uh, Kovacic just took the ball wide. It's set at the bottom there. Uh, Spain are beating Kazakhstan 4 0. Ireland are beating San Marino 7 0. England are tying one all. This could be a great time for us to win. Prisic, long car, long car, fire it over to Dedic. Dedic is on the wing. He's tried to put it into the box. He's been tackled. Dallas has fired it clear. Hodgson's got it back up the pitch. Long car, Codro, Dedic. Dedic, get it in the centre. Get it in the centre. He's run through. It's got deflected. It's in the back of the net. It's an own goal by Raymond McDonald. It's 2 1 to us. England is one all. This is fantastic. Kodjo Dedic did a magnificent run down here, came inside, cut inside, played it through, and then McDonald put it into his own net. Overlapping on the left has done us on the left and right has done us great here, to be perfectly honest. We've not been able to handle it. Um, is England still one all? England still one all. I have not made any substitutions whatsoever. That could be a good shout. Glasnick is knackering like no tomorrow, so I'm going to fire him off. Is there a left back on the bench? Civic can come on for the last 10 minutes. I'm going to take Long Car off. I know he's been playing well, but he's booked. And I'm going to pour Sadic on, whoever that is. And Demirovic has had a poor game, so Kolasic is going to come up front. Is he playing as an advance forward? He doesn't want to play as an advance forward. He's a two star player. He wants to play as a poacher. So let's play him as a poacher. Why not? Why not play him as a poacher? Got deep line forward and a poacher up front. This will be interesting. See what happens. I'm going to do a bit of demand more to see what that does to the team. Hodzi's on the ball. Plays it to Saric. Saric is fired it to Civic. Civic's to Codro. Paris saved it. Northern Ireland have changed to a 4 2 4. I'm going to drop back to positive. Try and keep the result into it. Katic is on the ball. He played it through, but then it got cleared. Dedic is on the ball again. Sadic, Sadic to Brisic. Gojak's fired it over to Dedic. Dedic is firing it into the box. Brisic, oh, I hit the bar. We hit the bar, son. Come on, lads. Is England still 1 all? Ah, oh, England's 2 1 because Alexander Arnold scored. Ah. Bloody England. I shouldn't be saying that from England myself, but we're, we're doing okay in the group. We are actually doing okay in the group. We beat Scotland. We got hammered by England twice when we played it. Seems though the game crashed. But we have won here against Northern Ireland, hopefully. Fingers crossed. They don't score in the last 20 seconds of the game. England's gone to 3-1 now. Katic, Gojak's fired it. He's fired it over. That should be the final whistle. Come on, referee. Blow that final whistle. 
happy days. 2-1 to us. Not the greatest of result. Outstretched arms. What a comeback. I'm going to say that. Superb win. Because it was. We were 1-0 down. Came back to 2-1. I'm happy with that. And we have won that game. Um, that's the same. My physios have been um, upgraded. So, in the side of things with this... Uh, we've got a friendly in then Belarus, but to be perfectly honest, I think I'm just going to play through the rest of the qualification group. And then, obviously, in a future video, um, with the club side of things, if we end up qualifying for any of the knockout rounds or anything like that, or end up qualifying for the Euros, I'll let you guys know. But I don't see the point in playing the rest of the games now, because I only wanted to show the home nation games. And we've already played them all once. Um, so And it kind of drags the season out as well, which I don't want to do. And I want the focus to mainly be on the Wolfenberger AC side of things. So I am going to play the other four games offline, I think. Um, we will be back in the next episode for the second round of the FA Cup with Wolfenberger. Um, and then I'll show you the schedule and stuff as well and how we've been doing and let you know where Verstraten's gone. And uh, a few other stuff into that side of things. So, this is just the match against Northern Ireland. So, thank you. Oh, no. I was going to show you the Northern Ireland team and where they were at and stuff. That was going to be what I was going to do. I forgot to do that. Uh, so, if we go by positions, uh, not like that. Just go for goalkeepers at the top. So, they have got three grade out goalkeepers who I don't even know. Uh, Cameron Dumingen, who's from Dundalk. Raymond McDonald, who's from Glen uh, Glenavon. Uh, Paddy McNair, who's at West Ham now. Uh, where was he originally? Paddy McNair. He was at uh, Man United. He went to Sunderland. Then he went to Middlesbrough. Then he went to Newcastle on a free from Middlesbrough from the Championship. And then he's gone to West Ham this season. He seems like he's playing regularly for them. Um, Liam Donnelly from Motherwell Jamal Lewis who's still at Newcastle uh, Stuart Dallas who's at Leeds I don't know if he's signed for them in the past or if he's been there the whole time uh, he's been there the whole of his career um, Adam Walker from Lincoln Ethan Galbraith who's at Newcastle now who is an ex-Man United player did he transfer from Man United yet he didn't play Played a little bit in the 22-23 season and played a couple of games in the 23-24 season. Didn't play anything. Released on a free. Gone to Newcastle and he looks like he's been, been a regular starter for them and he started off the season well on a 7.9. So that's quite mad. Jordan Thompson, who's at Stoke. Um, I don't know if he's a regen or not or a current player. He seems like a re current player. He's just basically gone from... Uh, he's been a Stoke his whole career, pretty much. Um... Alfie McCalmott, who's at Leeds, who looks like a decent player, to be honest. He's been at Leeds for his whole career. But it says that he's never played a game there, so that's quite interesting. Uh, and then you've got Carl Winchester from Burton, Sean Goss from Shrewsbury. I think that's the one who used to play for Man United, Sean Goss, isn't it? I think he's a free... Uh, yeah, it is. He used to play for Man United in 2016-17. He went to QPR. Uh, on this save, he was at QPR still, and then he signed for Shrewsbury, I think he must have signed Shrewsbury, and he's been there ever since. And they look like they've been in, in League One ever since. Then you've got Matt Kennedy from Aberdeen, Gavin White from Cardiff, uh, Callum Camp from Fleetwood, Jordan Jones, who just looks like a free agent. Yeah, he's a free agent, and he's actually in the national squad. That's quite funny. Um... Paul Smythe, who's at QPR, Rory Holden, who's at Walsall, uh, Joel Cooper, who's at Oxford, and Josh Nixon, who is at Tottenham, and he must be a regen. Yes, he is a regen. Why, why on earth wasn't he playing against me? Because he looks mental. I don't know if that's my scouts, but he looks insane, and he didn't even play in the game, I don't think. Oh, yeah, he was. He was at right midfield in the game. Okay, that's fair enough then. Yeah, so he looks like the most the most uh, up and coming player. So they have got one regen in the team. So that's just a run through the Northern Ireland team as well. Uh, he's still got some real life players like Paddy McNair and Jamal Lewis, obviously. Stuart Dallas, Ethan Galbraith. Um, there's a regen in the team and Josh Nixon. So he could be like the up and coming star for Northern Ireland in the future. 
Um, so yeah, that's the end of the episode, guys. And thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!